Alex, some of these flavors and I would say the flavor profiles just look and sound delicious. Don't they though? I mean, we're talking about it like uh, an apple pie cookie. It looks like that's a red velvet over here. Uh, the Griffin is piping some cream cheese icing into. But the goal of these cookies, Abigail, is for them to look decadent and be big, but they're not too sweet, you say. That's the goal. Yeah, of course. How so, of that course, they're going to be loaded with sugar. I mean, you can see the cream cheese, you can see the Oreos, the chocolate, but we try to refine our recipe to make it as balanced as possible. So, there's going to be a little salty, a little sweet. So nice. this is a big experience, so we want you to enjoy the whole way through, for I mean, sure. these are definitely shareable cookies. Griffin, I'm going to distract you while you're piping. Yes. Um, you two started this in 2019 and kind of like diverted your career paths. You were an electrician, and what's it like now becoming a baker and a business owner? It has definitely been a learning curve, but I have <laughs> a fun time relearning re something all over again, and uh, Abigail's definitely a great teacher here, for sure, too. But doing our classic cookies and everything every week. Uh, this is one of our classic flavors, one of our red velvets. It's always going to be a fun thing to learn all of our uh, special seasonal flavors every week. Too. What's your favorite cookie? My favorite cookie, you all have to try our cinnamon roll cookie. Okay. Um, it is a brown sugar cinnamon butter layered cookie that is just delicious. Oh my gosh, and these look so crazy, but Abigail, you're actually gonna like break one open for Heck us yes and show I us the good am. stuff. Okay, let's pick a good one. This one looks like a good guy right here. So this is exactly what we want you guys to do with the cookie once you get it oh from us. Oh my gosh. We want you to just crack that baby open, see really what's going on inside, take those social media pictures. So this is what's gonna be going inside of our uh, cream cookie, and we have this every single week. Oh my gosh. So you can stop by their storefront when they're open here in Old Louisville on Brook Street or you can even hop over to Logan Street Market. Um, and what's really cool, like she said, post your cookies on social media. Social media is really a big way of how they've grown their business. So it's always good to see um, the community supporting something good like this. Back to that cookie. Let me see it again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, they're dying. That's good. It's certainly an easy sell when it looks it, that good. I mean, Instagram's how I saw them. I, mean, I think we can split that one open? four ways. They look I think good. So too.